hello guys this is online office teacher and in today's video i'm going to show you how to design meeting minutes template in word let's get started so having opened word i enter the title of my document so i say meeting minutes hit enter next i go over to the insert tab next i click on table and i'm going to go ahead and insert a table of two columns two rows so i hover here then I go to the next one at the right. Then I go down one step to get two columns, two rows. I click to insert my table. My table is inserted. And on top here, you see that I have table tools. Under that, I have table design as well as layout. So these are the two tabs we will use to control our table and also customize it the way we want. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and merge these two cells on top. So I go ahead and highlight them up. Then I go over to the layout tab and the table tools. Then I click on merge cells and the merge group. Just like this. Then I enter in my text. Meeting title and then column. In here, I go ahead and enter meeting date. The next is meeting time. Perfect. I come out from the table, then I hit enter. Next, I'll insert a table of two columns, six rows. So I go over to insert, click on table. If you don't want to use these boxes here to insert your table, you can also go to insert table right here. So under columns, I make it two, then number of rows, I enter six. Then I go ahead and click on OK to insert my table. Awesome. In the first column, I go ahead and enter my text. So I'll start by entering meeting location, column, I move to the next cell, meeting called by, column, I move to the next cell, so I'll go ahead and enter the rest of my text and get back to you. Alright, I've entered my text, next I'm going to go ahead and move this column right here to match up with my text. So I grab it by getting these two headed arrows and a vertical bar and I move it this much. Perfect. So now this table is completed. I move out of it and I hit enter. Next I go over to insert and I'm going to insert a new table. With this new table, there's no specific number of rows you can insert. This will depend upon the number of people who are attending the meeting. However, since this is a template, you can insert whatever number of rows you want and later you can add or remove if you don't need a particular row or if you need a new row. So I go over to tables, then I click on insert, number of columns is 2 and then number of rows is 6. Then I go ahead and click on OK. Next, I'm going to go ahead and melt these two cells on top. I highlight them up, then I go over to layout, then I click on merge cells. I enter my text, attendees. In the next cell, I'll enter present. That will represent the number of people who want to attend the meeting or who are going to attend the meeting. So in here, I can just enter a dummy name. So I'll just say name. Next, I enter name again. Maybe I'll enter three times. Perfect. And then in this particular cell, I go ahead and enter apologies. Apologies means people who are not going to attend the meeting should be able to state reasons why they are not attending. In that case, we will list their names here. Oops, my apologies is strongly spelled. In this the right word. Perfect. So in here, I can just go ahead and enter name. And the name. Awesome. Now this table is done. I come out from it and I go ahead and hit enter. And this is the last table I'm going to insert and it will be three columns, five rows. Also with this table, you can insert whatever number of rows you want. But for this tutorial, I will limit it to five rows. So I go over to insert table, insert table, three columns, five rows. And I click on OK. I will go ahead and make the first three cells on top. Layout, match cells. Then I enter minutes. Next, I'll come down here and I'm going to go ahead and jump this cell. Then I move to this particular cell. 
Then I enter agenda item. And in this cell, I enter action. I move to the next cell right here. Then I'll enter one. Going down is two and finally three. Awesome. Next, under agenda, I enter topic one. Hit enter. So under topic one, the main discussion or comments will come. So here you can decide to blend them up. So I will use maybe letters, space, and automatically it will be converted to numbering or blitz. So I'll say discussion slash comments. Hit enter. Discussion slash comments. Perfect. So the action will be names of those who perform these comments or discussion. So I'll just enter name if it is one. So I'll repeat the same thing I have here on the rest of the two cells right here. All right, everything is entered. So now that all my tables are created, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and design them up. So I'll start from top. I'll highlight the topic that is meeting minutes. I center it. Make sure you are under home tab. Then I'll change the case to uppercase. I make it bold and I increase the size to 18 or maybe 20. 20 is cool. Next, I come in here, I highlight this, then I increase the size of the title to 14 or maybe 16. Next, I select the entire table by clicking on this cross icon right here. Then I go over to layout and the table tools. I go to alignment group currently it is set to align top left i want to make it align center left like this and i'll increase the height of the table from here to one centimeter perfect so that my text will be in the middle of the cell and also at the left side of the cell awesome i'll do the same thing in here so i select the table click on the cross icon to highlight it the height I make it one centimeter and I'll make it align center left perfect in the next table I do the same thing I select it height is one centimeter and then align center left meanwhile at the this I'll select it then I go over to home I make it align center I make it bold and I change the case to uppercase next i go ahead and decrease this column by holding this line if i hover on it i get these two headed arrows pointing left and right with vertical bar then i move it to this match or maybe this so that will be in line with the first table right here i go ahead and make this text bold i just highlight them up then i click on bold awesome and finally i work on the last table i select it then i click on the cross icon the height I make it one centimeter i choose align center left awesome meanwhile the title i select it then i change it to center i change the case to uppercase and make it bold next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and decrease the column here so i hold this line and drag it this much and i'll decrease this one as well so i hold this line and drag it this much perfect now you see that after increasing the height of the rows i'm having two pages now don't need this page so what i can do is make sure i click somewhere inside this table then i come to the margin right here that is in between the gray color here and the white space i hover on it you see that i have two headed arrows pointing up and down i just click and drag down a bit and you see that i'm now having one page perfect maybe i can add more editing i just highlight this and i make the title bold as well as here all these text i highlight them bold them up and then agenda item up to action i highlight and i make it bold you can also make the topics bold like this 
so that it will stand out from the comments or discussions perfect so now my meeting minutes template is done let me zoom out to see everything at a go awesome now one other thing i want to add is that first of all let me zoom in to this match in here you see that for those who are present i've indicated three rows for the names and apologies only two rows in a situation where the names are more than three all what you need to do is select any of the rows under present then you go over to layout under table tools then you go ahead and insert a new row you can just use insert below or insert above depending upon where your insertion point is so if i want to insert a new row under this particular name which is highlighted i just go ahead and click on insert below and a new row will be added awesome let me reverse it the same thing is applicable to the minis table so for instance if you exhaust all these three topics you can just click anywhere inside the last row then you go ahead and insert a new row which will appear right here but if you are writing a real meeting minutes it can be more than one page so this brings us to the end of this tutorial and that's it on how to design meeting minutes template in word i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know now if you want to learn how to design different meeting minutes templates i have a playlist at the end of this video that will show you step by step as to how you can design different meeting minutes templates i'll also link it up in the description down below and if you are new to this channel we help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.